Okay, and welcome to another episode of Cross Patching. Thank you so very much for the 20 subscribers that I've gotten and all the views I've got. And today I want to look at how you can control your hardware synth with VCV. And it is actually pretty easy. The only thing that you need is this CV to MIDI converter here. And I'll be using the Mother 32 in this example. I'll be set to Microlite port 2. I'll be using the SEC 3 as I've done in other examples. And what I'll be using is a voltage processor because the Mother 32 um, interprets the MIDI disk coming in directly, right? And it, this one is going from 0 to 10 volts, but I need like minus 5 to plus 5. And a very elegant way of doing that is using leakage from Volt, which is a voltage processor. I'll also be using Quantum just to get a little more musical. Let's set it to C, E flat, F, F sharp and B flat. So we'll be connecting our gate to our MIDI interface and you won't get any reaction just yet because in the world of MIDI you need to have a node on slash node off effect, um, command and pitch information. In Eurorack land you would at least hear sort of a steady rhythm with a non-changing pitch but with MIDI, you always need both. So let's connect and set all of those gates of our randomized sequence, proper speed, all of those steps. Let's see that we don't have that much repetition. Change those a little bit. Connect row one to our leakage, go into our quantum, and connect our pitch. And you hear a little bit if I open up my Moog filter. But you can hear it is super, super high. And that's where our leakage comes in. Let's give it a little bit of reverb. Play a little more with that filter. And here you can offset if you want the sequence to be higher. Now in some cases, your MIDI interface is not really reacting to the speed of the gate because some sequencers have a very very long gate but what you can do is you can use the gate length object which is this one connect your gate here go to the gate inlet and then adjust that if you're having trouble and that always helped me when I'm using it with other instruments but yeah this is essentially how you can control your hardware instruments via VCV, via MIDI. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you so very much for watching. I have planned to make more videos on how to build your own macros and how to build your more complex sequencers and how to sequence everything from your MIDI um, synthesizers or via CV. Thank you so very much and I'll see you next time.